And also, they try to use compensation to influence employee behaviors. Uh. They see it as a tool uh, to influence behavior. Uh. So if I get uh, people behaving, performing this way, I set them a target. If they meet this target, I'm going to give them a bonus or the merit, or the extra merit increment. So they see it as a way to shape behaviors. And finally, for employees, they will see it as a major source of loss. Yeah, uh, this is uh, compensation security. Uh. Without pay, we won't. Why would we work without pay? Our pay is for us to actually uh, uh, sustain our, our living. Okay, and they also see it as uh, something I, I deserve uh, in exchange for the work I do for you. Uh. And as an entitlement for being employed in the company. Uh. And sometimes because it is extra money, it's actually for job well done. Okay? So, sorry, it's a bit of a theory, but understand that although pay is everything, we know what pay is, different people from different angles will see it differently. Okay, and that, in a way, will shape how pay structures are, are, are created and all this kind of thing. Because you, you, in HR, we don't have the freedom to say, okay, I think the salary should be this. There are other different factors that will actually come in and play when you actually build your structure and. Okay, so we talked about